Hello and welcome to all of you. Today we are going to discuss CBR method for design of flexible payment. Now we have different approach in CBR method also. Today we are going to discuss one of it in which uh, we are going to use uh, a CBR value in order to find out the thickness, total thickness of the pavement and thickness of each layer. So let us see an example for finding out the uh, the total thickness of a pavement and for which we are going to use the value of the CBR. So now for CBR, uh, this is a particular question or example that has been given here. So we have to design according to the uh, given data. CBR test was conducted for soil subgrade and the following result were found. A CBR test was conducted and this particular result was found in which for a load of 60 kg a penetration was to for 2.5 penetration the load was 60 kg and for 5 mm penetration the load was 82 kgs so now the following materials are to be used above or over the soil subgrade the some materials are given here which is to be used for uh, the pavement layers above the soil subgrade now here the first uh, layer which is given above the subgrade is compacted soil of CBR 6%. Then the next layer given is poorly graded gravel of CBR 12%. Then well graded gravel of CBR 60%. Next bituminous surface of thickness 4 cm. Here these are the layers or these are the materials which is required to be used above the subgrade for which the value of penetration, the value of load and the penetration is given already there. So now design the pavement, assume wheel load as 4085 kilograms and tire pressure as 7 kg per centimeter square. So now for trying to find out the thickness of the pavement, we will first find out the subgrade uh, CBR, then we are going to find out the layers thickness of each layer. So let us see how to do it so given components of the pavement are as follows the first subgrade soil subgrade sample was all given for which we have to find out the cbr value using the penetration the, the load value for penetration at 2.5 and 5 mm so now the compacted soil is above the soil subgrade which is given in the question the next layer is the poorly graded gravel which cbr is 12% then well graded gravel of CBR 60% after that a bituminous surfacing of the 7 4 cm thickness layer is given so now in order to find out the uh, the thickness of the whole layer we are going to adopt the process in which first we will find out the CBR of the soil subgrade using that soil subgrade we will use a formula the CBR, uh, the formula using a CBR, we will try to find out the value of the thickness of the pavement above the soil subgrade that is given by T1. So using the CBR of the soil subgrade, we will find the thickness above the soil sub subgrade. Then we will use the CBR of the compacted soil and we will find out another thickness which is going to be above the compacted soil that is represented by T2. Then again, we are going to use the CBR of the poorly graded gravel and we are going to find out the thickness above the poorly graded gravel layer and which is denoted by T3. So now we will see what are the, what is the formula that is going to be used here for the solving the particular problem. The thickness of the pavement layer above a particular layer of CBR value is given by the following expression. This is the expression that we are going to use for finding out the thickness of the pavement above a given layer for which the CVR value is already known. So now T is given T or the thickness is equals to <clears throat> 1.75 times of P divided by CVR plus capital P divided by small p pi whole to the power 1 by 2. Here capital T represents wheel load in kilograms and small p represents tire pressure in kilogram per 
centimeter square. Now we will use this particular formula to find out the thickness of the pavement. So now we will see what are the given things in the question. V load P is, give, is equals to 4085 kg, which is already given in the question. Then tire pressure small P is equals to 7 kg per centimeter square. Now for the soil subgrade, we will use these particular values which is given in the question. The load values for the penetration values is already given here. So now we are going to find out the CBR value at 2.5 mm is equals to load at 2.5 mm penetration divided by standard load at 2.5 mm penetration into 100. So we substitute the values for the penetration load value load load value at penetration of 2.5 is 60 and the standard load at 2.5 mm penetration is 1370 which is multiplied by 100 we will get a value of 4.37%. Now the CBR value at 5 mm is load at 5 mm penetration divided by standard load at 5 mm penetration into 100. We substitute the value that is 82 divided by standard load is 2085 into 100 which will which will give a value of 3.99. So now the which value is greater we will take the value for CBR that one that one will be the value of CBR. So now the value CVR value for subgrade is 4.37 because it is greater. It is the greater one. So the 2.5 value is the uh, CVR value for soil subgrade. So now in the next step we will see the thickness of the pavement required is calculated as follow, follows. Now we will see the thickness how we calculate the thickness. We will use this formula for calculating the value of the thickness of the soil which is of the layer which is above the soil subgrade so now what is t1 t1 is the thickness of the layers total thickness of the layers which is above the soil subgrade now this is the formula 1.75 times of p divided by cvr percent plus p divided by small p into pi to the power 1 by 2 we substitute the values of p and cvr value here we are going to take is the CBR value of soil subgrade that is 4.37 which we have calculated just now. After substituting all these values we will get a value of T1 is equals to 38.08. The thickness above the soil subgrade that is T1 is equals to 38.08. Now we know the value of T1. The next step will be finding out the value of T2 which is the thickness above the Poor, uh, compacted soil. So, soil. So, next step, thickness above the compacted soil is equals to, we will use the same formula, however, the CVR value which we are going to use will be the CVR value for compacted soil. For compacted soil, the CVR value is 6. Now, T2 is the total thickness of the layers which is above the compacted soil. We substitute all the values here and we find a value of 31.7 centimeter which is the thickness of the soil thickness of the layers above the compacted soil t2 is equals to 31.7 centimeter now in the next step the we will we are going to find out the value of the thickness which is above the poorly graded gravel that is represented by t3 now where is t3 t3 is the thickness which is above the poorly graded gravel for which the CVR value is 12%. The CVR value that we are going to use here is for the poorly graded gravel layer. So now we substitute the values here. Then after calculation, we get a value of 20.25. Therefore, the thickness above poorly graded gravel that is represented by T3 is equals to 20.25 centimeters. We know the value of T1, T2 and T3. So the next value, the next step will be calculation of the thickness of each layer. Now the first layer above the subgrade is compacted soil layer, which is which we can see here in the 
figure is the compacted soil layer is just above the soil subgrade now how we will find out that one it will it is given by t1 minus t2 t1 minus t2 will give us the thickness of the layer which is for the layer of compacted soil which is just above the soil subgrade substitute the value of t1 that is 38.08 minus t2 is 31.7 which will give us a value of 6.38 centimeters. Now, the thickness of the next layer, that is the thickness of the poorly graded gravel is given by T2 minus T3. Now, T2 is the value of the thickness which is above the, so above the compacted soil and T3 is the layer thickness of the layer that is above the poorly graded gravel. Now, if you subtract T2 from T2, T2 and T3, you take a difference, you will get the value for the thickness of poorly graded gravel. Now, T2 value is 31.7 and T3 value is 20.25, which will give us a value of 11.45. Now, thickness of the poorly graded gravel is 11.45. In the next step, we will find out the thickness of the well graded gravel which is just above the poorly graded gravel layer well graded gravel is the th uh, layer which is just above the poorly graded gravel so now it it is given by t3 minus the thickness of the bituminous surfacing that is 4 cm t3 value is 20.25 we subtract 4 cm that is the thickness of the bituminous layer it will give us a thickness of the well graded gravel so the thickness of well graded gravel is equals to 16.25 so now we got the thickness of each layer now we will try to represent it in a particular figure so now final components of the pavement is given as the soil subgrades for we have the CBRS 4.37 we have calculated earlier and the next layer is compacted soil for which the CBR was given 6% and we have correspondingly calculated the thickness of the layer that is 6.35 cm will be the thickness of the compacted soil layer. Next we have poorly graded gravel for which the CBR was 12% and the thickness of the layer will be 11.45 cm. Next layer is well graded layer for which the CBR was 60% and the thickness of this particular layer will be 16.25 meter centimeter sorry so uh, after that the topmost layer will be our bitumin bituminous surfacing layer which is for 4 centimeter which was already given in the question I think you have uh, uh, this comes to the end of the particular uh, problem for solving the uh, design of flexible payment by using CBR method which is uh, in this particular for this particular problem it is uh, one type of solving the particular problem without using any kind of uh, CBR chart or uh, or design chart so this is this is the way how we find out the thickness of the payment by using the value of the CBR for given particular layer so thank you everyone I hope you have got all the understanding about all how to find out the thickness so we will come back to you with yet another topic so see you next time